I ask that we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. I am sitting on a bolster pillow. The bolster pillow is an option. And I have my legs crossed in a half lotus. May you find any easy seat that feels good for you. As we are using the seated position to help ground and root our bodies here today. Ensuring that our tummies are nice and tight. Our spinal cords are nice and long. Our shoulders are melted downward away from our ears, allowing our bodies to relax. As we breathe in deeply, exhale fully. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum if that feels good for us as our eyes are gazed down, allowing us to center and go inward. As we relax here in silent meditation for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads in our salute, our fingertips are reaching up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. Our shoulders are reaching up towards our ears. As we interlace our palms together with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens, allowing our arms to flow towards the back as our heart chakra comes open and our chin is slightly up. Breathe in. Exhale. As we are feeling this slight back bend here, two more breaths. Exhale into center, palms above the head, separating our palms. Noticing how this feels. With our heart chakra open and our chin slightly up, palms are reaching up towards the heavens. May we use this time to channel in any positive energies and vibes. We are channeling in hope, prosperity, all good things. May it come to us. May it be with us. Keeping our eyes gazed down, may we relax here as we chant to, as we channel, as we manifest. Four natural breaths. Two more breaths. Feeling all good things enter the body. Breathe in, exhale, allowing our bodies to lean towards the right. We are in our seated crescent moon. Maybe we can gaze up at the heavens, opening up their heart chakra. Noticing how this side bend feels within the body. Two breaths, exhaling back to center as our bodies lean to the right. Crescent moon, opposite side, I'm sorry, lean to the left. Crescent moon, opposite side. Gazing up at the heavens, opening up their heart chakra. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. Breathing our palms at heart center. Relaxing the palms down. Thumbs touch the sternum. Taking a moment to notice how by having our arms up in the air, we were able to relax. We were also able to build strength in our arms. You may feel a burn just by having our arms up. As we breathe our palms on the sides of our bodies, our fingertips are connected to the earth. As we are taking this time to connect and vibe with our environment, noticing what is going on around us. And through our session here today, we may hear now, we may hear noises, we may become distracted. May we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today as we relax for two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. As we flow our palms back above into our seated salute, palms are together, chin slightly up. Breathe in. Exhaling our palms downward on our head. We are in our crown, yes. We are focusing here on our crown chakra. Relaxing our shoulders down, gazing our eyes downward here. We are gonna to continue to manifest 
and work on bringing into our lives what we feel as though we want and need at this moment. So with our crown chakra hovering over our head, may we go inward for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, palms back above in the air, seated salute. Separating our palms slightly, we are in our, yes. Noticing how this feels with our palms slightly separated. As we flow into our star, bringing our palms slightly more apart, chin is up as we twist our bodies towards the right, allowing our palms to relax down. We are working on our seated twist. Slightly gazing over that right shoulder. You may notice your spinal cord is relaxing and soothing and twisting here. We're gonna hang out here for three more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, flowing into that seated star. Palms are off towards the side as our bodies twist towards the left, allowing our palms to relax downward as we gaze over that left shoulder. Seated, twist opposite sides. We are relaxing and soothing our spinal cord here. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling our bodies to center as we flow to our star. Breathing to our salute. Exhale to prayer. Relaxing our shoulders downward away from our ears as our eyes are gazed down and closed. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. As we flow onto our hands and our knees, coming into a tabletop pose, we're gonna come up here close to pillow. In our tabletop, our knees are hip distance apart. Our, our elbows are straightened. As our tummies drop down, we're gonna flow into a cow. Chin is slightly up. Feeling this slight back bend in our lumbar spine. As we flow to our cat, chin comes towards our clavicle, spinal cord goes up towards the heavens. As we flow back to our cow, and maybe we can do a couple of cat cows to our natural breath. Two more breaths. <clears throat> Finding our pause at table. We're gonna hang out here just for a second. Checking in with body. If all feels well, we're going to breathe our right arm up in the air. Fingertips reaches the heavens as we gaze up at our right hand. Breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle. Right arm threads through the left. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth as we gaze our eyes down or close our eyes, allowing our bodies to relax and soothe here. As we breathe in deeply, exhale. And if we choose, maybe we can wrap that left arm around our backs. Or we can extend that left arm above our heads, palms are flat on the earth. Whatever you choose, we're gonna hang out here and relax our bodies and thread the needle for five natural breaths. Two, Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're going to unwrap that needle, finding our bodies back in our table pose, dropping down to our cow, exhaling to our cat, flowing back to our table. As we reach our left arm up in the air, feeling that stretch, gazing up at our fingers, breathe in, Exhale, thread the needle, left arm threads through the right, heart chakra comes downward towards the earth with our eyes gazed down and closed, allowing our torso to melt forward into the yoga mat. As we breathe in, 
exhale. And if we choose, maybe we can wrap that right arm around our backs. Or we can extend that right arm above our heads, palms are flat on the earth as we relax and soothe here for five natural breaths. Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table. Taking a moment to check in with body as we breathe our right leg towards the back. We're going to work on the sunbird here. So both of our palms are flat on the earth with our right leg outward towards the back. And if we are having issues with our balance, we can always lower our right toes downward towards the earth before we extend that left arm forward creating that full sunbird pose. So we have our left arm forward, our right legs towards the back. Maybe our toes are downward touching the earth. Whatever you choose, we are balancing and strengthening the body here. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to table, dropping down to our cow. Exhale the cat, lower back to our table as we sunburn opposite side, bringing that left leg towards the back, feeling that stretch. Our bodies are gazed forward as we extend our right arm forward, keeping in mind that we can always lower the left toes downward towards the earth for balance, or we can keep that leg up. Whatever feels best for you, four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to table, dropping down to our cow. Exhale to cat, lower back to our table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet and maybe we're in a wide-legged down dog. If we choose, we can have our legs together as we Walk our dog by pedaling our feet, moving our legs left to right. We are building strength in the upper parts of our bodies. As we shift our weight slightly forward, coming into a high plank, feeling free to drop down to our knees if that feels good for us. Two breaths. Exhale back, down dog. As we are gazing at our feet, we are building strength. As we flow into a three-legged right side, bringing that right leg up in the air nice and high, gazing back at that foot. Exhale, knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Exhale, down dog. Dropping down to our knees as we flow into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose. Taking a moment to relax and soothe the body here. Allowing our heart chakra to come downward towards the earth as our third eye chakra, our forehead, connects to the earth. As we gaze our eyes down, may we soothe for five natural breaths. Three more breaths. Extending our arms in front of us if they were not already, coming into an extended child's pose or puppy pose. Arms are extended in front with our palms flat down on the earth. We're gonna use our palms to spine away our bodies out of this position here using our palms to push our bodies forward and using our palms to push our buttocks towards our heels. We are spinal waving, two breaths. As we find our paws at table, pushing our bodies back up to that down dog as we gaze at our feet. 
Maybe we can push our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. As we find our pause, we're gonna three-legged dog, left side, bringing that left leg up in the air as we gaze back at our foot. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Back to three-legged. Exhale, back down dog. As we walk our feet towards our hands, coming into a complete forward fold. Maybe we're in a wide-legged forward fold if we have a big belly. Allowing our heads to completely relax. Noticing that this complete forward fold is a full body stretch. This pose relaxes and soothes the mind and body. As we hang out here for four more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale to half, forward fold. Breathe back to complete forward fold. As we flow into a rag doll, hugging our elbows with our hands, allowing that head to just completely relax over. Feel in this full stretch here. And if we choose, we can sway our bodies from side to side in our rag doll. You may notice when you sway, you can feel it more behind your legs and your hamstrings. As we relax here for three more breaths. Finding pause at center, flowing back to complete forward fold. Exhale to half forward fold. As we flow to our Tadasana, our mountain pose, palms are at our side. Yes. As we pedal our feet from side to side, just taking a moment to work on our hips here. Yes, just moving our feet, noticing how this feels in our inner thighs and in our hips. We are just relaxing and soothing as we find our pause. Palms are at our side, mountain pose. Relaxing as we breathe our palms above our heads in our salute, our standing salute. Palms are together. Interlacing our fingers together, pointing finger points up towards the heavens as we slightly lean towards the back. Feeling this slight back bend, heart chakras open. Exhaling back to center, coming back to that salute. As we separate our hands, coming into that standing extended mountain, we are standing, palms are apart. We are now in our extended mountain. Bringing our palms back together at salute. Taking a moment to notice the difference between the standing salute and the extended mountain. In our salute, our palms are together. In our extended mountain, our palms are separated. As we hang out here in our extended mountain for two breaths, Chin slightly up, breathe in, exhale, standing crescent moon right side, allowing the body to lean towards the right, feeling this side bend here. Slightly gazing up at the heavens, opening up their heart chakra. Two breaths, exhaling back to center, crescent moon opposite side, body leans towards the left. Feeling this side bend as we gaze up at the heavens. Exhaling back to center. Breathing to our salute. Exhale to our prayer. Relaxing our palms at heart center here. Breathe in. Exhale. Allowing the shoulders to melt downward away from the ears. Palms are relaxed at heart center. Maybe our thumbs are touching our sternum. As we gaze our eyes downward or close our eyes if that feels good for us. Here in our standing prayer, may we take this time to go inward and focus on self. 
noticing what it is that we need and what we want. Simply being aware of who we are and what is going on within. Simply being aware of who we are and what is going on within us without judgment. Simply noticing. Simply analogy. Being kind and being loving to ourselves. Never judging, just noticing. As we hang out here and focus on self, as we go inward, five natural breaths of silence. Three more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Two more breaths. As we slightly hinge at our hips, coming into a forward fold, a half forward fold, yes. Chin is slightly up, we are slightly gazed forward. Noticing how we feel. Maybe our palms are still at heart center or maybe our palms are downward under our knees, whatever you choose. Two more breaths. As we slightly bend our knees, coming into a chair pose. Palms are at heart center if we choose, or we can extend our palms in front of us here in that chair. Whatever feels good for you. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale to prayer hands. Two breaths. Breathe, complete forward fold. Relax in the body. Head falls downward. Breathe in, exhale. Three more breaths. Exhale to half, forward. Flowing back up to our Tadasana, palms are at our side. As we breathe to our salute. Exhale to prayer. Flowing to our half forward fold, palms at heart center. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, complete forward fold. Walking our hands to the front of the yoga mat. We are back in our down dog. Gazing back at our feet. Maybe we can walk our dog by pedaling our feet. As we find our pause, we're going to bring that right foot to that right hand. We are in our runner's lunge. Just for a second. As we flow to our pyramid, straightening out that front leg. Allowing the torso to relax over that front thigh. Exhale back to runner's lunge. Breathe back, down dog. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet. We are building strength in our arms here. As we find our pause, exhale, left foot to left hand. We are in our runner's lunge opposite side. As we straighten out that leg coming into our pyramid, torso relaxes over that thigh. Two more breaths. Exhale forward, coming back to that runner's lunge. Breathe, down dog. Dropping down to our forearms, coming onto our dolphin pose. We are now on our forearms. Buttocks is high in the air as we are gazing back at our feet. This dolphin pose here prepares the mind and body for a headstand. But of course, we're not going to flow into headstand. We're going to hang out here for three more breaths, dolphin pose. Two breaths. Flowing down to our knees, coming into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose. As our heart chakra comes close to the earth and our third eye chakra connects to the earth. Four breaths. Mm. Two 
two more breaths. Coming into an extended child's pose or puppy pose if we were not already there. With our palms flat on the earth, may we spinal wave our bodies out of this child's pose, puppy pose. Doing two spinal waves. Finding our paws at center. May we cross our feet at our ankles, finding our bodies in a skewed position. Just for a second, as we flow our bodies into a bound position, maybe a diamond or a butterfly. Our feet are connected. Our legs are shaped like a diamond or a butterfly. This is a hip opener here. We're gonna fix our bodies to feel comfortable. As our hands are connected to our feet, now this diamond or butterfly, this diamond or butterfly pose are lovely poses for people who have big bellies. It creates that extra space for the baby bone. With our hands touching our feet, may we flow into a seated cow, allowing our heart chakra to come open and our chin slightly up, Maybe allowing our head to relax between our shoulder blades. We are in our seated cow. As we hang out here for three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale to our cat, bringing our chin towards our clavicle. Spinal cord flow to the opposite of the room. Two breaths. Exhaling back to cow. Flow into center, we are back in our diamond or our butterfly. I'm just taking a moment to notice that in our diamond, our feet are further away from our bodies. And in our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. So our butterfly is a deeper hip opener. So maybe we can do whatever one feels best for us in our bodies. Just taking a moment to notice the difference between the two. And once we find our comfortable bound position, may we slightly hinge at the hips allowing our heart chakra to come downward towards our feet, towards the earth. Maybe gazing our eyes down or closing our eyes. As we breathe in, exhale. Noticing how with the exhale, our torso comes closer towards the earth. As we are hinging at the hips, we are going deeper into our hip opener here. May we hang out here for four, natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into center. Coming back to our bow position. We're going to straighten our legs, maybe using our hands to bring our legs inward if we need to and we're gonna straighten our legs. Whatever feels best for you. We are now in our staff pose, yes. Our toes are pointed up towards the heavens. Our backs, our spinal cords are nice and straight. Our heart chakra is open. Our palms are relaxed on the earth or on our legs. As we are slightly gazed forward with our eyes gazed down. Breathe in. Exhale. Relaxing the shoulders downward away from the ears. As we breathe our palms above our heads in our salute, feeling that stretch. Chin slightly up. Breathe in. Exhale to prayer. Palms are at heart center. As we slightly hinge at the hips, maybe we can reach our hands downward towards our ankles or the lower parts of our feet if that feels good for us. Taking a moment to notice that this Seated forward fold is a full body stretch here. So maybe we can gaze our eyes downward or close them as we breathe in. Exhale. Allowing our torso to come downward towards our thighs. Now, of course, if we have big bellies, we can widen our staff pose, separating our legs and creating space for baby as we flow down to our complete forward fold as we hang out here for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into half, forward fold. As we flow back to our staff pose, our spinal cords are nice and long here. Yes, 
noticing how we feel. As we take our right leg, lifting our right knee up in the air, our right feet is flat on the earth. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna take our right hand and place it behind our backs with our fingertips facing away from us. We're gonna work on a spinal twist. This here is a Sage Marici three. And if we're able, if our tummies are not too big, maybe we can take our left elbow and cross that left elbow over that right thigh and gaze over that right shoulder. Feeling this complete spinal twist, we are in our Sage Marici three here. Relaxing and soothing the spinal cord. Three natural breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center. As we straighten out that leg, we are back in our staff pose. As we breathe to our half forward fold, flowing into our complete forward fold. Keeping in mind that we can spread our legs slightly apart to create that space for baby. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, half forward fold. As we breathe back to our staff pose, as we switch sides, left leg comes up, knees in the air, left foot is flat on the earth. Sage Marici, three opposite side. Taking this left hand, placing it behind our backs with our fingertips facing away from us. As we slightly gaze over that left shoulder. And if we choose, if we don't have big bellies, we can take this right elbow, yes, and cross it over that left knee as we are gazed over that left shoulder. You may feel your spinal cord twisting, relaxing, and soothing here. As we hang out here for three more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, flowing back into that staff pose. Just for a second, noticing how we feel. It's taking a moment to go inward. Heart chakra is relaxed. Eyes are gazed down. Shoulders are melted downward away from the ears. As we bring our right feet to our right hand. Yes. And maybe we can take our left foot, bring that towards our left hand. Now we have both of our hands and our feet. We are working on a boat pose variation. Ensuring that our spinal cords are nice and long here. Because if they are slightly bent, we may fall over. You want to have control of that spinal cord. And if this feels well, maybe we can take our left foot and bring it out towards the side. And that have boat pose, yes, boat pose variation. And we can bend our knees if that's needed. And if this feels well, maybe we can take that right leg and bring it out towards the side, bending our legs if needed, or we can straighten out both legs. Feeling that deep stretch here in our hamstrings. We're keeping our knees bent. This is our boat pose variation. Some people also like to call this bear pose. And if we're able, we can widen our legs by coming out into a nice wide-legged V. This boat pose prepares the body and the hips for labor, for delivery, yes. But we are working on opening up our um, pelvic bones here. Or we can bring our legs inward, slightly closing that V, yes. Noticing how this feels. We're gonna hang out here in our wide-legged V or our legs inward for three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, breathe in, coming back to that diamond or that butterfly. Feet are together. We are in our bound position. As we flow to our cow, chin is slightly up, heart chakras open, head relaxes between the shoulder blades. Cow pose, three breaths. Exhale into cat, chin comes to the clavicle, spinal cord goes to the back of the room. Exhaling back to our bound position, using our hands to bring our knees inward, crossing our feet at our ankles if we choose, as we flow back to a tabletop position. We are in our table. Knees are hip distance apart as we drop down to our cow. Exhaling to our cat. Flowing back to our table as we push our bodies up to our down dog. Maybe pushing our torso towards our thighs. 
walking our dog as we pedal our feet. Hanging out here for a second as we swift forward to our high plank, dropping to our knees if we need. We're building strength in our arms. Dropping down to our knees. As we come up onto our knees, we're gonna work on a camel pose. But we're gonna do a half camel here today. So we are on our knees, just relaxing and soothing here. As we breathe in, exhale. Simply relax in the body, allowing our palms to simply relax at our thighs as we do in our Tadasana. Eyes gaze down to closed. Just taking a moment if we choose to simply just go inward. Noticing how we feel at this very moment. And if we choose, if we have big bellies, if we are manifesting pregnancies, maybe we can place our right hand and our left palms on our tummies. Relaxing our shoulders downward, gazing our eyes downward. As we are manifesting here in this session, we are going inward, manifesting what's serving to us. As we hang out here, three breaths. Two breaths. Breathe in, exhale. Relaxing our palms down at our sides. Breathing our palms to the lower parts of our backs. Our fingertips are on the lower parts of our backs at the lumbar part, yes. And we're gonna work on a slight back bend here. We are in our camel prep. We're gonna slightly lean our bodies towards the back. Heart chakra comes open, chin comes slightly up. Maybe you can allow your head to relax between your shoulder blades. The way we do in our cow pose. And just maybe simply just allowing the body to go back as much as we comfortably can without causing any harm or injury. We're gonna hang out here for four breaths. Two more breaths. Hanging out here and pausing for a second as we allow both of our hands to relax between our backs. Just allowing our hands to relax. Interlacing our hands together and allowing our hands to relax. Noticing how that takes us deeper into our camel prep. If we're able, we're gonna hang out here for three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into center, dropping down to our knees, coming into a wide lady child's pose or puppy pose. Just taking a moment to relax and soothe here. We are in our child's pose, puppy pose, heart chakras to the earth. Eyes are gazed down. As we are simply going inward, just checking in to make sure we didn't cause any injuries to our bodies. Maybe we can breathe in. Exhale with our eyes closed to gaze down. Four breaths of silence. Two more breaths. Coming into an extended child's pose or puppy pose if we were not already. Using our palms to spine and wave our bodies out of this position as we flow back to our table. <sighs> Knees are hip distance apart. Dropping down to our cow. Exhale into our cat. Flowing back to our table. As we come back to our camel pose, we are back on our knees. We're gonna bring our palms back to the lower parts of our bodies. And we're gonna go a little deeper in our camel. We're gonna do a half camel here today. So allowing our heart chakra to come open as our bodies lean towards the back, yes. And maybe we can take our right hand, connect our right hand to our heel. Allowing the head to relax between the shoulder blades. If this is comfortable, we can do this. If not, we can stay in our half camel with both of our hands at the lumbar parts of our spine. However, if we are in our half camel, we have the right hand to the right heel of the foot. And maybe we can extend that left arm up in the air or hover it over your head. Simply having some fun and playing in a pose with our arm nice and straight. 
Maybe just bringing the arm up above the head. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Noticing how that feels. Just one arm, yes. Yes. And maybe we can bring it slightly towards the back as our head relaxes. If we're able, we're just having fun and we're basically just posing, striking some poses here. Two more breaths. Exhaling out, we are back on our knees. Yes, we're gonna hang out here in our knees just for a second, placing both palms on the lumbar parts, the lower parts of our backs. As we do a couple of shoulder shrugs, lifting our shoulders up towards the ears and rolling them towards the back. Yes, we're simply just checking in with our upper parts of our bodies and our lumbar parts. If all feels well, finding our pause. As we camel prep opposite side, half camel, left hand to the left heels of our foot as our bodies lean towards the back. And we can hang down here if we choose. We can take that right arm and bring it up above our heads, palms, arms are straight up in the air, yes. Head relaxes between the shoulder blades. And if we're able, if we choose, we can allow that hand to flow towards the back of the room. Either or, we are in our half camel. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling now, coming back to our kneel position. We are on our knees as we drop on down, coming into our child's pose or puppy pose. In our child's pose, our torso is relaxed between our thighs, heart chakras towards the earth. In our puppy pose, our legs are slightly together. Our buttocks is high in the air and our torso comes downward towards the earth. Puppy pose. So whatever pose feels best for you and your body, either child's pose or puppy pose, we are going to hang out here with our eyes gazed down or closed. As we go inward, five breaths. Three more breaths. Hmm. Coming into an extended child's pose or puppy pose, if that feels good for you, meaning bringing our palms in front of us. As we spinal wave our bodies out of that child's pose, puppy pose. We're gonna do three spinal waves here. Hmm. As we find our pause at center, we are back in our tabletop pose. We're gonna cross our feet at our ankles, coming back to a seated position. As we flow back to our staff pose, spinal cords are nice and long as we breathe to our salute. Heart chakras open, chin slightly up. Breathe in. Exhale a prayer, bringing our palms at heart center. Hinging at the hips, coming into the half forward fold. Palms are at heart center. Breathe in. Exhale. Complete forward fold. Reaching down to our ankles or the bottoms of our feet. Feeling this full body stretch. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale to center, come into that half forward fold as we flow back to our staff pose. And we're gonna relax our bodies here, flowing on to our sides, coming into a fetal position. Maybe we can use a pillow between our thighs and maybe we can take a pillow and put it at our head for comfort. And we're gonna relax here in our fetal pose with the long pillow between our thighs if we choose as we gaze our eyes down or close our eyes. As we breathe in deeply, exhale. Allowing our bodies to completely relax, to melt into our yoga mat and to the earth. Fill in one with our environment. Fill in one with the universe. 
feeling relaxed and soothed. Taking in what's going on around us, being aware, only allowing in what is comforting and soothing to us at this moment. As we relax here of eight breaths of silence, going inward. Five more breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. As we take our hand that's farthest from the earth, using that palm to push our torsos up into a seated pose. As we flow into a seated position, any seated pose that feels good for you, I'm gonna flow into a cow face, crossing my legs on top of each other here, and a cow face. Any easy seat that feels good for you, may you find that position. With our spinal cords nice and long, shoulders are melted downward away from the ears. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed as our eyes are gazed down. Breathe in. Exhale. Breathing our palms at heart center coming into a seated prayer. Thumbs touch and sternum if we choose. As we take this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today for it truly truly is a blessing the light in me sees appreciates and respects the light in you namaste